Okay, so uh, this patient, as you can see very well, that he had been stented and left anti-descending artery in this coronary angiography view, where stent is placed in LED area and the flow has become sluggish. Uh, but at the same time, you may notice, although the right coronary artery shoot was done, which is absolutely normal, but if you see here in this view, he has developed a very tight left main stem lesion here and here if you can make out very clearly that uh, left main is also now involved with the 80 to 90 percent block here so uh, this may be uh, catheter induced or guide induced left main along with the uh, stent stenosis of 40 percent if you see the flow is sluggish so this is how uh, this patient was referred to me for treatment of this uh, post uh, myocardial bridge treatment done by PTCA to LAD and subsequently you know, developing a left main le lesion. So this is how it, uh, uh, it became imperative for me to operate this case and uh, I operated this case uh, when providing a triple vessel uh, revascularization of left anterior descending artery and uh, circumflex artery. Right coronary artery did not require any graft as it was normal in earlier uh, angiography and this angiography also. And uh, subsequently this patient went off very well and uh, has been discharged from the hospital. My point is that, that uh, myocardial bridge treatment remains controversial and uh, usually it is uh, surgery is preferred and favored because myocardial bridge uh, stenting has got a higher failure rate uh, in, in terms of a strand fracture or uh, dislodgement or uh, restenosis. Although th this is a clear example that uh, why myocardial bridge should not be treated with the PTCA. Although uh, not only the restenosis occurred within four months of time of uh, PTCA, at the same time he developed left main disease which was not there in the earlier uh, angiography when uh, he was uh, diagnosed to have the myocardial bridge in December 2017. So this is then a clear example how um, not to treat myocardial bridge with the stenting and it, surgery is a better option for such cases. Surgery with the lima to LED or whichever vessel is, has a myocardial bridge uh, beyond that a graft uh, inclusion, graft replacement or if myocardial bridge can be excised and uh, vessel can be uh, made open and that area there also has been a treatment described in literature. This is how uh, I will describe this case as a uh, surgical treatment for myocardial bridge and coronary artery disease. Thank you very much.